everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we have my face masks club unboxing how i have been doing these videos in the past couple of months is first of all i will go over the sheet masks that i got in last month's box go through and give you my thoughts and opinions on them and then i will show you the sheet masks that i've received in february's box for those of you who aren't aware about the service it is a sheet mask subscription service that deliver a box of sheet masks straight to your door every single month they do have two levels of service you can choose from either five or seven sheet masks per month the five sheet mask box is nine pounds 95 for a one-off box or if you sign up to a monthly subscription you will save five percent and it then comes to nine pounds 45 they also have the seven sheet mask box which is £12.99 as a one-off box or £12.34 if you do sign up as a monthly subscription. I was originally signed up to the five sheet masks a month but was going through them quite quickly so I've now upgraded to the seven sheet masks a month. I do believe I've seen on their socials recently that they are possibly contemplating a nine sheet mask subscription a month as well which would be good to have another option there. But why don't I go through and show you what my thoughts and opinions were on the sheet masks that I tried last month. So here are the seven sheet masks that I received in January. I have managed to try every single one of them. I've been all stalled together so they are a bit sort of saturated with the serum and things but let me go through them. So I will start with the one I tried first and that was this one from the brand Frudia. This one has got writing from another one on and it's absolutely covered in serum. So this is the My Orchard Squeeze Mask Raspberry Mask. And this was a great start to the month because I absolutely love this mask. Just in case you are wondering why I'm reading the back of the sheet mask, I do write myself little notes because I don't have the best memory. But straight away, I can see that I did give this one 10 out of 10. And it does take a lot for me to give a mask 10 out of 10. So I've said it has a really nice scent. It wasn't strong at all. It was sweet and slightly perfumey. It was a nice cooling sheet mask and quite cold on initial application. It was a very soft mask, was actually waffle-like, so I do remember that it was really comfortable to wear. It was slightly tingly on some blemishes that I had, but kind of not in a bad way. It fit very well and was comfortable to wear for the duration, and this one I think I did leave on for quite a while. And then this serum. One eternity later. So I completely lost my train of thought then because I was rudely interrupted by my light going off. Don't know what happened but the plug it seemed to be connected and two just completely died so fingers crossed now i've moved it to another plug it will stay on but this is a kind of more newer setter with more lights that i'm going for i don't know if it looks worse or better but i'll see when i get to editing so i think i was up to saying how comfortable this mask was and that i did wear it for a lot longer than the kind of a lot of time it did have a milky serum to it which you can actually kind of see on the back of the packaging there so it's slightly different in that it was a nice thicker serum whereas sometimes they are just very watery and it was really nice afterwards as well and my skin did feel sort of immediately soft and fresh so i did really enjoy this one and say i gave it 10 out of 10 and i can't remember the last time i gave a mask 10 out of 10. then i tried this one from pf79 this is the fresh fruit extracts blueberry sheet mask and i think this is the brand that i have tried a previous fruit one from so for this one, I've said it was a very thin mask and it was quite wise on the face, but a very short nose piece. It was very saturated, but it wasn't too bad to apply. Sometimes I can find if they are overly saturated and very thin sheet masks, they can always roll up and just be a bit of a nightmare to apply, but this one wasn't too bad. I've also said that I did have a very nice scent, but it was quite reminiscent of the previous one I had tried from this brand. I've also said that once it was on my face, you couldn't smell it because it was quite a faint smell. And I have given this one 8 out of 10. Then we have this one from Mia Rosa. This is the pomegranate grenade mask. And this one, I've said that it was really cold. And I do remember this mask because it did kind of take my breath away. We have had quite a few days of really cold weather here in the UK. But I did apply this one before the kind of cold snap of weather. So it wasn't the, it had been sitting in a cold drawer. I think it was just whatever was in it. It was a really, really cold sheet mask. I said that it did fit very well and was a nice, thin, comfortable sheet mask. It did roll ever so slightly when trying to apply it because it was such a thin sheet mask, but it was still okay to apply. I've said that it didn't have any scent at all. There was no kind of sweetness or anything like that to it. And it was another one that I did leave on for longer than the allotted time. It was very comfortable and it had a nice thin serum afterwards, but there was quite a lot of it, but it did soak in eventually. I've said it was slightly tingly after, but my skin did feel soft and fresh and I've given this one 9 out of 10. Then we have the seaweed sheet mask from Botter Bay. 
So for this one, I've said that it was, again, a very sheet mask and very saturated. It did have one of the hard outer sheets and when I removed that, it was then a bit of a nightmare to remove because the sheet mask underneath just kind of wrinkled up on itself and it took a little while to spread it back out. It was quite a cooling and tingly mask. It did smell really fresh and really nice. The eye holes were slightly too small and a bit too fiddly to apply to make sure that it wasn't digging in my eyes. But once it was on the face and finally in place, it did fit quite well. I've said afterwards that my skin did feel slightly tight and there was quite a lot of serum afterwards. So I've given this one a 7 out of 10. Then I've tried this one from Apu, I think that is, and it's the Green Tea Milk Mask Pack. And this one, I've said that the mask itself was really thick, but was really soft material. It did have a lot of material, so it did gather up slightly, but once I put it into place, it was fine. I've said that it did kind of lift on the chin slightly throughout the course of wearing it. Probably because of it being a thicker material, they do tend to droop slightly with gravity, and obviously the serum in it as well. I said that it did have a really nice fresh scent, kind of citrus almost. I've tried quite a few green tea products in the past, and they have always had a really nice smell to them. So I haven't given this one an immediate rating on the back, but from what I remember, I would give this a 7 or 8 out of 10. I always forget to give them the ratings towards the end of the month. It starts off really well and then it just sort of deteriorates. This next one we have is from True Solution. This is the Crystal Shining Mask. So for this one, I've said it was quite a large sheet mask, but it did fit okay. It did have a really nice scent to it and it was one that I could still smell once it was on my face, but it wasn't too overpowering. I've said that once it was removed, it did leave a lot of serum afterwards, but it did blend in eventually and it did leave my skin nice and soft. I do remember with this one, about 10 minutes after I'd taken it off, my face did feel slightly tingly and a little bit warm. Nothing too alarming, but just not something that I experienced quite a lot. There was no adverse effects afterwards. My skin didn't go red or anything like that, but I just something I thought the best note. This one I've given a 7 out of 10. We have the final and most recent one that I tried. This is from the brand Glam Up. This is the Brightening Lemon Mask. This one had a really nice lemon scent to it. I have an issue with lemon products that they can sometimes smell a bit like washing up liquid or cleaning products, but this one definitely didn't. It was a really nice zesty fresh lemon scent, so I did enjoy that about it. And it was kind of invigorating in that respect. I've said that it was a really thin sheet mask, so again, did roll up slightly on application, but once on, it was absolutely fine. I have said that it was quite saturated and the sheet mask itself was a bit wide, but other than that, it was fine. It was really refreshing and cooling to wear. I think the sort of scent of it did help as well because I do believe I could still smell this on my face slightly. Only issues I had with this one is it did catch ever so slightly around my eye area. And at the point I'd had it on for about 20 minutes, it was just starting to lift on the sides, but that's not a major issue. And then afterwards, it did have a really nice level of serum with this one. So this one I have given seven and a half out of 10. I think obviously I've knocked the points off for the discomfort slightly at the end, but other than that, it was a really good mask and I did enjoy this one. So that is all the masks that I tried from last month. So now I will show you what I've received in February. So this is how the box itself comes. It's a really cute pink box just with their logo sticker there. And it does fit really nicely through your letterbox. So if you ever are not at home, you don't need to worry about it being left with a neighbour or anything like that. It does just fit through the letterbox. Inside we have their logo again here. And then we have some Valentine's themed tissue paper. They do always like to tie in the theme of the tissue paper because in December we did have some really nice Christmas tissue paper as well. And they do also change the sort of confetti that they put in as well, which I think is a really nice attention to detail touch. Just have a little tag here, which again, Valentine's themed, which just says, we hope you love our Valentine Day themed box. And then I have already opened this one up. Then inside these are the little confetti that we have this month, which is a little heart, which I will definitely be reusing with my daughter's crafts. Then we do have a nice little sweet treat with some love hearts in here as well, which I will be devouring once I finish filming. Just one point that I do want to note because I feel it is relevant to the company themselves. When I first got my package through the door, I did actually only receive five sheet masks instead of my seven, but I did send them a DM on Instagram and they responded within a few minutes and this was about 10 o'clock at night, just asking what masks I had received so that they could send me the missing ones and I received the missing ones in the post I think a day or two later. So they do have good customer service if there are any issues and they did rectify the problem quite quickly. And they did send the extra two sheet masks. They just threw this little sample in as well, which was a nice touch. So these are the seven sheet masks that I got in February. The first one here is from the brand Mediheal, which I think I've had one from before. 
This is the Vita Light Beam Essential Mask X. So this one says Mediheal is a mask science that was created and tested by using beauty principles. I definitely think I've had this because I remember it having the words all over the mask. So it says it uses a concentrated formulation of natural materials, helps your unbalanced skin become healthier by making it resistant to stress and caring skin balance. So I think the thing for this is actually the material of the sheet mask itself. And then on the back, it says that it has skin light beam component vitamin C derivative. And then a few words I can't pronounce. Salix Alba Willow Bark Extract, managed pure and clear skin. Made with fine silky fibre, the cellulose sheet mask provides optimised fit along face curvature to effectively deliver the essence to your skin. I say I do remember that I quite liked the mask that I got from this brand last time. So I'm really intrigued to give this one a go. Then we have this one from the brand Union and this is a blueberry sheet mask and I think I might have actually just ordered myself this one. I did recently place an order from YesStyle and I did see that they stocked the brand Union which I have tried a few masks through the subscription service that have been this brand that I really enjoyed and I needed to spend a few more pounds to get free shipping so I think I might have ordered this one which is fine I'm happy to have a couple of blueberry masks. So this one says it's for hydration and balancing gives your skin an instant hydrating boost and balancing treatment in just 15 minutes and then on the back it says concentrated with blueberry which is an excellent skin balancing agent purity blueberry sheet mask helps maintain oil water balance while keeping your skin dewy and supple for hours i'm excited to give this one a go then we have this one from the brand s folio and this is a honey essence sheet mask and this says enriched honey extract and various nutritive components deliver abundant moisture and nourishment deep into your skin I do really like how honey products do make my skin feel. I'm not always a massive fan of the scent. If it is quite natural honey, it's a bit too overpowering sometimes, but if it's a bit sweeter, then it's okay. So I'm intrigued as to how this one's gonna smell. On the back, this says, it's a highly concentrated essence sheet mask and it's formulated with fresh honey extract, which helps to make your skin clean and moist. The vitamin of quince extract and portaluca extract contained in this essence mask helps to increase elasticity of your skin and offer dewiness to your dry skin so that sounds pretty good then we have this aloe mask from farmstay and farmstay is definitely another brand that i am familiar with i think i've used them more from the previous subscription i had which is called face story and i did enjoy most of the masks i received from them i don't know if the aloe one is one i've specifically tried but i'm keen to give it a go so this one says fresh aloe extract from nature helps to hydrate your dry skin and refresh and rejuvenate tired skin. It will smooth the surface of your skin with great feeling, provides a rich infusion of moisture to your skin all day long without skin irritation. So I'm keen to give that a go. Then we have this one from the brand Mediflower, which I don't think I'm familiar with. This one is a multivitamin special treatment energizing skin mask and it's a function mask pack. So this one doesn't say anything on the back, it is all in Korean. All it says on the front is it makes skin moisture silky and smooth. It's high quality, well absorbed, energising skin mask pack without stickly feeling. So I'm intrigued by that one. Then we have this one from the brand Riri. This is the Real Nature Mask Pack and this is Pearl. And this one says Pearl Extra. Pearl Extract is helped to improve skin elasticity and moisture. I think that's what all that one says. It says it's a silky sheet, so I presume it's going to be one of the really nice soft ones, so I'm keen to see what that one's like. And um, the final one is from the brand Pretty Skin, which is, again, a brand I don't think I've tried before. This is the Total Solution Essential Sheet Mask in Pomegranate. This is the Revitalize Improve Elasticity. On the back, it says it contains estrogen, which is apparently in Pomegranate, and that helps improving your skin's absorption ability as well as skin elasticity and health. So I'm intrigued by that one, definitely, if it contains estrogen, which I didn't know pomegranate contained. So this is all the sheet masks contained in the February Face Mask Club subscription box. I don't see anything sort of too Valentine themed in this box, but it is a nice array of sheet masks. We have a couple of fruity ones, a couple of more natural ones, and then a couple of different type ones. So I think it is definitely a good array of masks, and I'm excited to break into these. But that is it for my unboxing and today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.